I think from getting the call saying, do I want to do it? Doing a Zoom and then literally packing my bags to leave. It was about 10 days. It's only now that they're letting us come and sit on the front rows as they should because they use all the hell out of our culture. She was in Paris getting something else that starts with a P. Like, I Come on, you better believe it. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why men post their chains like... Say how many houses you've got, that should be the new clout. What you did was a slap in the face to everybody, having mm. to stay in and respect what it was that the government wanted us to do, but then he broke his own guidelines. You know how many countries it's still illegal to be gay? So if Beyonce performs in Jamaica, are you lot not going? He basically said, what are you going to do when you can't sing and dance anymore? I used to do musicals. So that's savage. I was once a young person. Yes. You, however, have no. never been able to dress. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Plus 4 4 podcast. I'm ZZ Mills. Uh, yeah, what's that about? What was that all and about? Side, man. Music, culture, UK. This is Plus 4 4 from Wondery. Wondery. Make some noise for Scarlett Douglas! Woo, 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 woo. Thank you. Talk to us about how I'm a celebrity. How was that experience? Oh, it was brilliant. I loved every minute of it. Um, it was a bit every of a whirlwind. Minute. I actually loved every minute of it. I've never spoken to proper like I'm a celeb person. Okay, okay. so how does it work from the beginning? As yes. in from when you get the call, do your people put the feelers out or do they approach you? How so does it work? Um, my, for research purposes for only, research obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so my agent had set up a meeting with the same production company that makes the show. Right. Just a general with me and my brother about mm. maybe some ideas that we could do together. Um, Property-based shows, etc., etc. And then... A couple of months later, they had got back in touch with my agent and they said, look, we need one more person from a celebrity. We can't get Scarlett out of her heads. We thought she was brilliant. Do you think she'd be up for the jungle? Oh my God, that's and, so um, amazing. Yeah, and then they called me. I was like, of course I want to do it. Why not? Um, so I think from getting the call saying, do I want to do it? Doing a Zoom and then literally packing my bags to leave. It was about... 10 days. No way. Yeah, it went really Mad quickly. Mad turnaround. Oh my god! It was so quick. It was so quick. So I didn't even really get a chance to think, think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. And then the closer I was getting, the more I'm thinking, okay, I have to deal with spiders in the jungle. I have to deal with lots of different characters and personalities. Right, right. I have to eat weird and wonderful things and sometimes just gross grubs and things like that. Um, so I did start to freak out. But then when you get there, you isolate for like 10 days by okay. yourself in a house. You can't have your phone, nothing. No internet, no connection with the outside world. Um, and that's that? it. You're oh in the my god! How I actually that? loved it. I yeah. was really worried about that, but I loved it. I was doing I paint know, by you know. numbers. I was listening to music. It was really nice. I don't know if I let them bring me back to the jungle, bro. I don't know. Would you not do it? I don't know, bro. What are you scared of? Bring you back. <laughs> And that's why I slid over that bit. <laughs> I was like, we we that. that. That's what they're thinking <laughs> when they call when they call us. He's like, yeah, let's bring one of them back oh, over. Right. Let's bring back one of them back <laughs> You're over. You're so silly. <laughs> so you wouldn't do it? No, nah, I would 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there I, anything yeah, you're scared yeah. of? Yeah. Um, not, re not really because I'd enter my, I have to do this bag. Okay. Um, heights would probably be the most scary aspect of anything Fear factorish mm -hmm, for me. Mm -hmm. Like when Baba Tunde couldn't jump off the Baba thing. Baba couldn't do anything. He, I know. Did you Bless ever get him. frustrated with that? No, because you know what? Everyone has their own thing. Right, right, okay. Um, and you just want people to do the best that they can do. And if mm -hmm. they can't, mm -hmm. it's like, cool, guys, we've at least got rice and beans. We'll make it work. But what do you say in your group chats? We want to hear that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's only that's only in the group chats. Doing their thing. Like when um, there's nothing that exciting in the group chat. You the no, as in like when you when they because he's basically saying that's the PC thing to say. But what did you say in your group chat? No, oh, like Barton, they so no, we, we genuinely just all supported each other. There was no, there was no real drama. Um, so you didn't call Matt on. to the corner and say, "Yo." Yeah, but I didn't make a drama of it. it no, was very she, yeah, much she had like, a chat with Matt. She had a Matt. nice chat with him. Yeah. I liked your chat with him. It yeah, was really yeah, yeah. good. It just was, so you it know. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. What you did was a slap in the face to everybody and don't expect what the you did. What, what are we referring to when you say what, what you did? Him breaking his own guidelines. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. we've all, we were all for however many months or years yeah. having mm. to stay in and respect what it was that the government wanted us to do. But then he broke his own rules. Mm. And that was what mm. kind of was like, well, hang on a second. How can you do that? I don't think men beefed when he did that. Huh? Why? Because he was grabbing the. No, I think it, I think I think every man was what? like, yeah, yeah, what we broke some guidelines as well. No, what? But if you're setting the mandem, them though, and you who's are who's the mandem? I'm saying I don't feel like the mandem was mad. I don't remember outrage. From no, the everyone really? was. Uh, yeah, I I, everyone was. Everyone outraged, was no? outraged by it because so many people. We wasn't allowed to leave our houses. We weren't allowed no. to do so many things. We weren't allowed to see our family. Yeah, people like parents who or people loved ones that had passed away. Yeah, you wasn't allowed, we weren't allowed to go to funerals. I think. 
now when we look back on COVID, it seems mm. like such a, oh, we were locked in the house, but it was a it was weird, serious, yeah. serious, sad time yeah, and really scary was. time as well. And I think when that all, when it all came out about everyone was, I think everyone was angry. And I think that's why when they tried to kind of like implement lockdown rules again, everyone was like, nah. <laughs> you got to be joking. Yeah, that's never no happening way. again because you lot took, the, took, yeah, you took, the, took the pee. I was going to say you're looking Christmassy. Yeah, I was just about to say it's giving me Christmas jumper vibes. It is quite Christmas jumper vibes, isn't it? I didn't think that through. No, I but apologize. it's nice. It look, no, don't apologise. Maybe we should save this episode for Christmas. No, it looks good. Whoa, Thank that would be a long time. I know. <laughs> I, no, but that's what you think. And then before you know it. Very Mariah's true. been thawed out and she's you back. I mean? <laughs> Mariah's been thawed out. <laughs> <laughs> she does thaw out. It's so mad. I hear she makes... How much do I hear she makes? Mad a lot. Something like mad. four mil? A every, lot. Every, a well, lot. I'm assuming it's more than that. It must be more than that. It has yeah, to yeah. be. You know, I heard today the guy mm. that sang Akuna Matata yeah. mm-hmm. and one of the other songs yeah. in the Lion in King. Lion King. Yeah. He still makes two million a year You're or something lying. like that. I'm surprised because, you watch Lion King. Um, I'd think that's too joyous for you. No, because it has death in it. It's perfect. That's the only. <laughs> ah, like, those, I've right. decided that I'm not letting my kids basically watch um, Disney films. Okay. Because I just think it gives you false l- hope. On, yeah. Like, <laughs> Gives you no, false hope that. and it also gives women a warped idea of love. Yes, and we have um, to be saved by the prince. Right, and all these things and you think this guy's going to come along and save you and it would be okay if men watch the same mm-hmm, stuff as us mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. Sleeping Beauty yes. and all these other things but they don't. They don't no, like this. They really don't. So we have this idea of love that some prince is going to save us and they're not. So I've decided... What films are you going to show your kids? Like uh, Dharma? Like, what like no, <laughs> no. Like Bambi because it's got death in it. Oh. Um, like Lion King has love in it. Nala and Simba, they mm-hmm, come together mm-hmm. but also... Nala's the, but they also die. Do you know what I mean? So they you teach your kids about life, about love, Reality. about lo- That's what, exactly. yeah, there you go. So I'm not going to lie, I'm 36. I'm still like, where's Prince no. Charming? Yeah. No. Well, okay, I'm 36 next month. Mm, no. Two months. Big up to the 30 crew. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Thank David's you. Gonna ch- I'm surprised David, ha- David makes a joke about my age every single week. But it, it's still going the episode, so you never know. It's coming. It could, oh, yeah, it's going it to come. come. It's going to come. I'm 33. No, it's just crazy Are because you, you look, look her good. age. We look each other's wow. age. Okay. We look good, honey. We look, you look good. Yeah, you look you So look. then that means we look young because you didn't think she was 36. Yes, but I would think you're 36. No, you would not. <laughs> How old did you think I was then? You would you, never. Under 30, facts. Really? Definitely. 100%. I'd take that all day, every day. You would never think that I was, I was, um, you would never think that I was uh, over the age of 30. Couldn't even get that out yourself. <laughs> because I was, I was trying to think of a reasonable age. Mm, yeah. But all the young things, they love me. There you go. Hey. Hey. They all think I'm young. Is that where you're going? What, to the young things? You're going to tame a young lion? No, he's. I'm going to tame a lion my age. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm. But even then, that's probably not even worth it. You want to like 44 year old, I think. I think that's where yeah. I'm thinking as well now. Yeah, that's oh, what's, what I the, think. what's the reasoning behind that? I just feel like they've got their stuff together. Yeah. There's normally less... I'm still working out who I am. Yeah. Mm. All that sort of stuff. They're yeah. more established. I'd like to think they're more established. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm all for an older man now. So why did you go after Matt Hancock? I mean, he's already been grabbing a booty elsewhere. That's, so, what, I'm, he, that's like, what I'm trying to say. He, yeah. He's down for the grabbing. <laughs> you know what I mean? he's, he's got his lady. I feel like he'd come over here. I just feel like he'd come over this side. <laughs> I feel like he would as well. Yeah. I, I'm only going for the older man because scientifically proven men do not mature properly until they're 40. I think, that, so, I think they might need to raise that. So mm. I am going to go for the 44 year old that has... There's some, there's some diddies out here that still ain't slowing down, so you know. Yeah, but that's why we don't want those ones. We don't no. want the ones that don't think they're still you young. Don't want, you don't want the billionaire, no? I, well, not Diddy anyway. Really? Did, no. he put, did, he, did he put talk to you? You wouldn't be interested? No. Mm. Would you These be- are way more realistic, so she ain't going to just jump out the window and say no. I would entertain the idea only on a business for what it would do for me business. as a business ah, so and like as a brand. Yeah, right. that's okay. what I would, would do. Would you do that? Would you get with a guy just like as an arrangement kind Yeah, of I thing? would do that. Would you do it with any of the UK guys? Probably not. Really? None of them? <laughs> <laughs> like, you, like, okay, so like one of them sends over the contract. like Because I think that's what's happening with Laurie Harvey. Isn't it? <laughs> I think that's what's think? happening. Yeah. When, when Michael B. Jordan happened, that's when I stopped believing that the relationship. I just real. think that she's dating and having fun. I, I think she's just trying to find the right guy for her. She's beautiful. She's like, let me see what's I'm not out there. beefing any of that. I think these guys, um, I think there's contracts in place. I think there are deals. But there, apparently there are NDAs, right? And unless... Yeah, what I, is, think what is I, think, I don't know if that was... She is the queen of NDAs. You don't have to make her sign an NDA. She signs her own NDA. 
Oh. I get because Lori Harvey don't speak about nothing. And that's why men like her though. That's why men Ash, like Ash. her. I she's think quiet, I, she's When pretty. you say men, do you mean like men in the industry? I, I think men in general like quiet, beautiful women. Mm. And I think that mm, like they- That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I think they go, that's what they, they like. Men like women that are good to look at. Um, they speak not too much, enough <laughs> to kind of like know their thoughts, but not too much. Like me, I talk too much for men. I know that for a fact. I talk a lot like, as well. I, I do know that. talk a lot for men. Yeah. And they and I'm too opinionated for men. Lori Harvey, you don't even know her opinions on half of the what's half the things that's going on in the world. And like right, <laughs> so that's up to her. But men like that. They don't want to they don't need to know. Like I just sent someone a voice me- message just now. He's like, oh my god, a whole essay. Yeah, no, nah, because I, I, I believe that people I, that send I, voice notes don't really care about you. Are you ki- I, I love, love a voice, a voice note. note. Listen, can I just say, me and my girlfriend send each other like 20 minute voice notes. Oh my god. Like a morning podcast. If somebody sent me, love it. Yes, if I somebody sent me a 20 minute voice note, I'd like them off. I'm gonna send you a 20 minute voice. I'm gonna that's get your number. Crazy. Before Ooh. we leave, and I'm going to send you a 20 minute voice note. I'm going to allow that to happen. Dave, I'd actually Dave. listen to a 20 minute voice note from you, but that's a separate conversation. <laughs> How did you get into property? Um, it was my eldest brother, Stuart. So both my brothers played football professionally, and Stuart invested his money into property. Um, How old is Stuart? He is 44, but he is um, um, yo, what? with kids. You <laughs> Sorry. Know. You haven't even seen this brother's face? Of course I have. Oh, have you? Oh, I'm yes, about to say. Sir. I've seen that they do. I've Predator, seen that they do. Yeah, sir. Um, but yeah, so he he basically said, what are you going to do when you can't sing and dance anymore? I used to do musicals <laughs> so in savage. the West End. What are you going to yeah, do? Yeah, I'm like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Of course I'm going to be able to do this forever. So you started um, off with the dancing? Yes, I started mm. off as a dancer, did a lot of singing. and What acting, kind of, what style of dancing? Everything. Really? Like, I did Musical everything. Fit. I trained in ballet and tap and modern, and then I learned Me street too. and commercial. Did you? Yeah. I went, yes. I went to um, no. Sylvia Young. Sylvia, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Sylvia Young all the time. So I did ballet, yeah. tap. Contemporary, modern, modern, contemporary, all, that, yeah, yeah. all of that stuff, jazz, yeah. all of it. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good time. I loved it. I did really enjoy it. I did. Do you have footage of you doing ballet? Um, I don't think so. No, I don't know. I don't know. I would. I don't think we did. But I was. I never. I was so upset because I never got to like point work. Did you get to oh, point? Oh yeah, we did I, a lot I, of point I, work. I, I didn't get to that level of. I was in like level f- about four or five, and okay. then yeah, I think they started it in. No, I think I was four, and then they started it five and six. Like I wasn't you great just it. at um like ballet. I didn't really okay. like enjoy. It. I was not. I'm not like mad flexible. Unfortunately, it is. It's hard, man. No. It's hard. Okay. It's really hard. What? You've given me conflicting reports. Wow. About being mad flexible. Mm. No, I'm not mad flexible. I've never said that. I'm mad flexible with my mouth, but not my <laughs> anything else. <laughs> so. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I digress. So um, Ined, I digress. Uh, Ined was like, right, you don't have a pension. So I'm going to basically teach you how to develop properties. Yeah. And I use my creative flair and I did the more interior design side of the renovations. And he did oh, more of the cool. architectural changes and stuff. Mm. Um, oh, so you like you wouldn't build up properties? We would no. We would reconfigure them. So we'd base, basically, for example, we'd buy a one bed flat and then turn it into a two bed, or ah, okay. we'd buy a house and then convert it into two flats, for yeah. example. Um, I'm getting into the property thing myself, and I do I do find it very very interesting. I also like the idea of saying that you own homes. Yeah, like I feel like I feel like that. Sh- How we many should do you own? Two. Oh, I feel like we should make. Crazy. But then you know, mine has two front doors, two kitchens. But listen, we don't need to go into. That. The point is. <laughs> Is that I? I feel like that should be the new clout. I think of it course. has been. I think yeah, a lot yeah. of people are getting yeah, into property. Getting into it because of... I don't know why man post their chains like say how many houses you've got because a lot of people be secretly in the property game. Yeah. And I'm not saying show off your yard or show where you live or anything like that. But I feel like more people should talk about Just it. Just invest. I think it makes yeah. so much sense from oh, a young yeah, age well, to invest so your money. Return. Yeah. Yeah, because then when you're older, you have your return, and mm-hmm. then you can retire early. And you can early, give it to your you kids. And I, I feel like that's something in our community that we don't see a lot of mm. and <clears throat> when I, I remember when I, I was born in Jamaica when I first came here and I started seeing friends who had parents who owned their home and they said oh yeah I'm gonna get my parents home and I, I thought to myself that's such a mad life mm. to just be started off with, with a house. definite yard mm. that's I just think that's sick I think in a weird way that's why I don't because my mum had done that for me yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's why I'm probably a bit more chilled about buying my my own property mm-hmm. and I think the schools that I went to were like predominantly white schools and that's what you mm-hmm. would hear there's this kind of narrative I don't know if it's true or not or if I'm just broadly speaking but mm-hmm. I do feel like white kids they get to live life depending on what kind of class they come from but mm-hmm. they their parents have probably invested 
in property. So they don't have to worry about, am I going to be able to get a house? Because yeah. they know that when their parents go, or whatever happens, that house is theirs. Mm -hmm. Whereas like us, because a lot of our parents haven't come from that type. We, and understanding as soon as, money uh, management. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as we get to a certain age, there's this, I feel sometimes there's this weird obsession with I must get a house I must get a house like mm. you hear like 22 year olds talking about I must get a house and it's like well just chill out like I know it's good to get on the ladder but yeah live life enjoy life and I think sometimes we don't get to have that luxury of just enjoying life we're yeah. always thinking about how we're going to provide for our families I how think, we're yeah, going to society does that to us yeah, as proper, well, yeah lot, like yeah and even the more kind of privileged kids mm. even though society's putting that pressure on them they don't kind of succumb to it if that makes sense mm -hmm. because, yeah, they, because have, they, they have they the have up. something there yeah. whereas some of us don't have anything there so that pressure then it's the tenfold. pressure to want your own yeah. and then pressure from the society as well mm. I think we don't get to enjoy life and like you said I would like my kids and I'm that's why I'm so grateful that my mum I don't have that in yeah. the back of my yeah. head like I must I must I need I need because mm. it's something that my mum kind of yeah. gave done for me when I was a little bit when she was younger and now I'm older. Do so you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. um I agree. I think it is dope like that yeah. people are thinking like that a little bit more. Yeah, because I'm more. thinking I'm even thinking to myself now, if if I have a kid, when I go, minimum now at this point, they'd have two yeah, yeah. homes. That's mm -hmm. yeah. mad to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's just such a great way to start off life. And I do think, yeah, we should be able to live life without having that mad worry and that mad the way you put it. And I've never thought about it like that. It's just like the fate of the family is in your hands. Well, yeah, <laughs> you're the, yeah. you're, you're yeah, yeah, the yeah. first one to, you know what I mean? Yeah, we don't yeah, need yeah. that anymore for us. It could be like, yeah. it's not because with your brothers made it normal. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Because it's like, yo, I got property, you get property. So yeah. then it just becomes more of a regular conversation in the community. Where are you from? I'm from Chesham in Hertfordshire. Oh, okay. okay. Just spoke yeah, Swahili to me. I don't know what those uh, words Near Enfield. Also Chesham. Hertfordshire. Okay, cool. Yeah, Chesham, it sounds far, but it's actually, I'm Enfield. It's, okay, yeah, so it's yeah, another yeah, far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got a place in Enfield. Oh, right, it's literally right. not that far at all. Nice little drop. I apologise to all no. of the See that little drop there? That, <laughs> look, that flex. That was a nice flex. Nonsense. I didn't do like that. No, but no, that was a good flex. I like that. Okay, but I was going to say, I know Enfield very well. Yeah, honestly. Listen, because if if you had a Birkin now, if you was like, no, I got a Birkin, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, oh, you got a Birkin, swear. I'm yeah. going to say well done to you because you just casually dropped that you've got just property just in Enfield, you know? Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. What would you say are the top three things if you're like a new type of person, like getting into property, mm -hmm. what are the top three things you should look for? Um, I would say look at a property that needs to be developed because even if you are buying it to live in and you're not actually buying it to sell you can still make profit right okay. so you can do it up and you can still hold profit into that property which means that if you want to take that money out release equity for anything else moving forward you can do it whether it's to continue redeveloping the property or maybe use it as a deposit to buy somewhere else and then continue making money that way um i would say number two what else would you look for um it's actually a great segue look for the worst house on the best street so i actually i have a show with my brother called worst house on the street yes Sick. you do and Sick, um it is basically, it's it's an adage that we use in the property world. You want to find a, uh, a fantastic- in the rough. Exactly, a fantastic street that you know has profit to be, um, to be found and to be made on it and then buy the worst house there and do it up. So always look for somewhere that maybe isn't in an area that has already been yeah. developed, but uh, potentially will okay. be getting gentrified and yeah. buy your property there. When I, when I bought my property, I found out it was done up. So you found out I, it was I, done up? Yeah, yeah, because- I'll, Did you not look at the, it? The, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, when, I, when you got the, obviously you got the listing, but then I went back a couple of years and saw the previous listing for how the house uh, used to look with the old pictures. Uh, and, and you saw and, the price difference. Yeah, yeah. Price difference oh yeah, massive too. price difference. And mm -hmm. the house was completely, it, it, I wouldn't have bought it. I wouldn't See, have bought it. But they, the they built on a whole like next house wow. onto the house. So it was, mm. it was crazy. I think it's great that you bought that house and it's already done and you can move yeah. in. But I love finding Setting somewhere up, that yeah. I can, yeah, just put my own stamp on and put yeah. my own flair into. I love that. I don't have the flair to put. And three, what else are you looking for if you're buying a place? Um, I would say just do as much research as possible and make sure you can actually afford it. Mm. Affordability is key because you can put a deposit down somewhere and then your monthly repayments, you're struggling to pay them and it's not worth it. Yeah. Like, start small. Maybe get a flat and then build up, but yeah. just make sure that you can actually afford it. I think that's actually great advice, mm -hmm. especially the last one, because I've realized, and I think a lot of people realize once they start coming into money, that it's not those big payments that really shank you. Mm -hmm. It is those monthly 
Mm, what seem like they're tiny, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they never they go away. <laughs> yeah, they're, exactly. they're always there. They're there for yeah, 35 yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it literally doesn't. And and with a lot of property as well, it tends to go up. So you'll have your mortgage be one price for like five years. Mm-hmm. And then after that, then it will go up to some next mm-hmm. price as right, well. Yeah. And then you got to think about your gas and electric. And like ZZ always likes to mock me. I'm running a casino at my yard. So sometimes <laughs> yes. my electricity bill be crazy. You've had relationships with so many different fields of interest. Right? Have I? Yes. That makes it sound like I've had a lot of partners. About, no, fields of interest like dance, oh, okay, like okay. singing, <laughs> like the presenting. I thought you meant my partners have had different <laughs> fields. I was like, nah, what? What are like, your partners saying? Nah, like They property. are all just not even important. Really? Not even worth talking See, about. See, it was important at one time. Speak about these people with a little bit of... No, I mean? because even when I was with them, I shouldn't really have been with them. Yeah, and, you but know, just you have respect I, for no. the time you oh, no, have. I have respect for the time I have because I've learned a lot, but they, I should not have been with Anyone we know? any of them. No. Why would, would you, you date? Because they might be some famous. No. Public in the public. We start asking you that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? What? Well, I'm going to be like, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Am I going to name drop? No, no, probably not. But you probably would know a couple. Anyway, no, you wouldn't know any of them. Would you date anyone in the music wise? What was this from the music podcast? Any, 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 any music guys would. that you're looking at and you think, oh, nice. Anyone am I bit? looking at right now? Not really. Skepta, come on, everyone likes Skepta. He is beautiful. Oh, can my I just God. Say. Skepta. He is beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. My friend T Styles. I'm just going to wait until this is finished. Like, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. He's gorgeous, isn't but he? But I didn't realize. And then, like I said, when T Styles was doing his hair and he posted something, I was like, Huh? Like good, he's good. Wow. He's a he's a beautiful man. Very good looking. Um, Very good looking. That's that's all I could think of. All I can do is wait. Oh, okay, sorry. sorry. So yes, end. I've had relationships with lots of different fields things. of interest. Fields How of we interest. got to man, but then again, we're in the podcast it was easy. But um, <laughs> yes. So as I was saying, and Scarlett, I yeah, love talking about men. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, good. So yeah. yeah, like, what what do you think out of all of those passions? Property, singing, dancing, presenting is your main interest. What do you think you love the most? Oh, Joe, I just love being centre of attention. Wow. If I'm honest. What, what so, um, star sign are you? Pisces. Oh, I didn't even, I was going to, I thought he was going to say like a Leo and I was like, yeah, me too. Oh, no, I'm a Pisces. Wanna be. Pisces yeah. are really emotional, though, aren't they? We are. And we're very, we are very creative. We are, um, we wear our heart. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. We wear our Ignore heart him. Themes. Because if we, last week uh, you were talking about anime uh, for about five minutes. Yeah, and who cares okay. about anime? Anime. Right. Do you watch no, anime? I don't even I don't have to say, anime. you sound like Thank you talk about the girl from Love Island. It's not anime. It's anime. Anime, whatever. Anime. Who no. watches that? My ex used to, and he made me sit and watch it. Oh like, my I can't God. Do this. Yes. I, I bet. Can't. Was he like creative or like. Yeah, a... He was very creative. Yes. Very the creative, creative men love anime. love anime. Maybe yeah. it's like it takes them out their imagination. I don't know. I don't you know. You are looking why. at me like I am wild. And they that. love to watch it and like, <laughs> like be really high deep and like. Yeah. I had something for you. What did you have? Past tense. It's gone now. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did he have to make you watch anime? Why did he have to? He didn't have to make me, but I wanted to try and be interested in his interest. I hear that. And I sat there and I'm like, Are you over that now, Zizi? Will you ever do that again? Try and be interested in I his know. Interest? I'm always interested in whatever my guys are interested in. <laughs> <laughs> and I support whatever team they support. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything they like, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> Where? We like Arsenal. Okay. Yeah. We like, yes, we we like West Ham. Okay. okay. <laughs> we, let's go. <laughs> have us. Um, no, I just, you know what it is? I love, I love meeting people. I love talking to people. So I guess whatever one of those gives me the opportunity to do that, I'll go with it. Maybe it's that, you know, at the moment it's presenting, yeah. but at some point I want to do singing. I want to go back yeah. to getting in the studio and recording some tracks. I want to go back to doing musical theatre. I want to go back to dancing. I just think at this moment in time, presenting is what is presenting itself to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to keep focusing on that. You're on Good Morning Britain now, aren't you? Yeah, as well. so I cover so for um, cool. I cover Richard Arnold on there for his entertainment slot. Nice. He got to go and uh, watch Beyonce open at oh the Atlantis, gosh. New Atlantis the other day. I was like, guys, I definitely wasn't. Beyonce available. getting some what, smoke recently. Yeah, what do you think about that? Because what smoke? Because what, she, she got twenty four million to do it. Well, she got twenty four million and she performed in Dubai, which is obviously yeah. it's still illegal to be gay in Dubai. And right. um, the lot of the LGBTQIA community was saying that because the Renaissance album was heavily influenced by the gay community, they oh. felt like why would she go and perf- why would she go to a a, pl- a a country that is against why against did she them? Do it? For the money, but also yeah, it's yeah, also, I'm but also about 24 million reasons. But why also, she did but it. even forget about the money. Yeah, 
Do you know how many countries it's still illegal to be gay? Like the yeah, Maldives, the it's Cup still. And... Yeah, but even that, we had a big discussion on Unapologetic about it because they was, oh, we're not going to watch it. And it was like, but there's so many countries where mm. it's still illegal to be gay. The Maldives, it's still, are you not going to go to the Maldives? Like, mm. it's still illegal in Jamaica. So if Beyonce performs in Jamaica, no are you not going to, are you not, not going? Or are you going to be, are you not going to say it's bad that yeah. she performed there? Yeah. But what it is, is I think it's the mixture of, the wealth of the country mm -hmm. and their beliefs. I just think a lot of anything to do with Dubai and money and because of the current climate that we're in now with a living crisis and anything that seems too outrageous, mm -hmm. too people just la latch onto it. And then on top of that, the whole LGBTQ, they, it's, they're not for it. So I didn't know that she got a backlash, but now that you're saying it, I understand why and I see wh why people are moaning, but it's like the trans community are having a go at uh, Aretha Franklin's song natural I woman because you this. can't say you're a natural woman oh. I'm like but are you listening to the lyrics of the song she's just saying how the man makes her feel in her femininity and right so yeah. I, is, is there I don't know sometimes I think see my issue with that is that we headlines are very dangerous yeah. because you put a whole bunch of people in in problem for what some people have said correct I'm sure there's people in that community that don't give a flying fig roll about Aretha Franklin <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, from yeah. 300 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So it's very dangerous when these headlines come out because you, and, and then you will develop a view of people in these communities that all of them are very rigid, mm, very lack right. of understanding, yeah, yeah, not yeah, willing yeah, to cross the bridge. Yeah. And that's what I think is dangerous. So I think these headlines are more dangerous than the actual, the, what the headline mm. is and also, suggesting. I think socials as well, like mm. Twitter, the moment something's trending, oh it makes gosh, it seem yeah. bigger than necessarily the, the than what it was. Yeah. How was Fashion Week for you? Fashion Week was fun. I had loads of fun. I saw everybody at Paris Fashion Week and it's going to sound like I'm hating now. A lot of the people I saw there, I don't think they would go there if the clout surrounding it wasn't there if it wasn't a status quo tick to say but that is the I whole point there. of a fashion, fashion week though, no, it? Fashion, fashion week though. Yeah, but I cannot imagine how boring it is. Okay, but that's as a grown man. But to you, sit there you, and watch random dance. So you're not into fashion. Um, can we just take a minute? David, why would you care about fashion? Look at what you are wearing. <laughs> Look at what you wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And you have fixed your mouth to come and tell people that. Can you imagine as a grown man what it feels like to watch other people wear clothes? Bro, last week you're jacket was hinged up here and you're fixing your mouth how dare you yes brother you talk about young people I don't stop you from talking about I, young people even though you can't relate listen, to them so we, we are allowed you, to speak on things no, that we're not involved in you can't imagine I can imagine the young people I just think it's dumb what some of the stuff that they do and I can because I was once a young person yeah, you but that however was so have long. never been able to dress so you're speaking <laughs> on things that you cannot speak on ever. Listen, would you go? If you got invited, would you go? No. You oh, would... oh, yes, I would, but for oh. the clown. That's what I'm trying to say. I would go for the box tick. So that's where I just going. can't imagine that anybody. But have you been to one? No. no, no, no so no, you don't know if you're even going to like it or no, not yet? No, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident I wouldn't. How? Because I'm, I'm like just like one fashions. of them people that know the things that, that like. After 20 minutes, did it get long? Also, that's how I know you don't know about fashion shows because they are literally maybe all, max 10 minutes if you're lucky. Oh, really? Okay, They're okay, so okay, quick. They, sure. Some of them are like even five minutes or depending on how many pieces they got. But max, you're looking at 15 minutes and even that is a push right <laughs> so like it's 10 minutes all right, all right the enough. most the most you do the most waiting i did was waiting for the show to start mm -hmm. and even then even that is a part of it because there's so many people walking <laughs> in depending where you're sitting you might see your friends and yep. da, all these things it's all part of the moment but also fashion week like you were saying it's always been a stunt it's just that now our people are in the stunt, but it's been a stunt mm. from the beginning of time. Like that's how you know you're litty if you get invited to the fashion mm. shows in your front row. So it's only now that they're letting us come and sit on the front rows 
as they should because they use all the hell out of our culture mm -hmm, anyway to mm -hmm. promote their stuff. So let us come and sit on the front row. All they need to do now, I think, is get some of our DJs, get Rachel to DJ a couple of times because the music was... But, oh, was um, it bad? As in like the after parties, it's just um, ins, ins music and oh, I don't okay. need ins, ins. No, we don't need that. Do you know that. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we need yeah, a little yeah. bit of like... A little something last, you can get down to. Last, last or something. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So, but I had a really good time and it was really nice, like I said, to see our scene there like yeah. it was so nice to see Hedy one it was so nice to see unknown t michael dapper was there all of those people it was really nice to just see like i'm really proud of the i've changed my that literal entire opinion on it based on the fact that i know that the show's are 10 minutes now like i've 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 i'm really I proud i people were sitting there for two hours watching people no, walk back no, and forth never. I, I, i'm really proud of the scene that we're kind of building absolutely as young black young um, entertainers yep. whatever field we're in like yep. being on the team I'm so proud of what we're building that now we actually have a scene 100%. like a, a lit scene that yeah. people actually want to be a part of mm. you know what I mean people from America will come over and they want to be a part of our scene because yeah. we're building it so I'm glad that we're getting to be in all these spaces that we should be that getting into in. yeah we should have been in originally so I had a really good time I literally went there with no expectations it was my first Paris Fashion Week yeah. I went uh, to Casablanca show and I love Casablanca anyway so I was really happy about that and I went I to a few I can't wait parties. to see when you go to the Met Gala and go to I go to the you're not a ZZ few... that chicken head you could have rolled <laughs> I was at a few parties had a nice time you know what I mean and yeah so some nice guys wait, there. hold on wait yeah yeah something about her voice changed there I know I was waiting to hear told me that oh, she was in Paris getting men. something else that starts with a P like I don't know oh you come on you better believe it but it's just <laughs> <laughs> Life is for living, you know what I mean? I'm single. I should be okay. having fun. Single and ready to mingle. What's your love life like? It's dead. In anything reminiscent <laughs> to ZZ Mills. <laughs> there is nothing happening in my love life. I'm, um, you reckon that's, a, that's the truth? I could believe it. Not because I don't think. Oh, savage. Not be, no, no, no. <laughs> not, be, not because I don't. You're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not because I don't think there's loads of men wanting you. But you're very successful. Mm -hmm. um, you're a black woman. And I think it's very hard for successful black women to find love. And I, exactly the only this. reason why I am, is because I make an active effort. Like I will pursue and I will make it be known that I like you or yeah. whatever, or I will be actually flirty but I, not everyone is as flirty and as forthcoming as me so mm. I can't imagine it for women that are not like me who are kind yeah, of just not I, as that's the question because I will absolutely be the one that will chat up a guy but I don't know if guys like that if, if they, they don't like that if they find it intimidating they do in the beginning and I don't know I just feel like at the moment I'm so busy work wise that I want to meet someone of course I want to meet someone but it's just a nightmare so I feel like unless I'm going to meet someone on set I don't know when I'm going to actually get out and meet Someone. Have, that's what I'm saying that you have to make it I've active got to, effort I know I've got to or put in the work what then happens which is really annoying you end up just dating people within your scene which then mm. is so annoying because everyone knows everyone right, right? and that's yeah. what that's what coming back to the Laurie Harvey thing that's why I have a lot of empathy for Laurie Harvey because and when people start saying oh she's letting all these men run through her and it's like but this is her world they're not yeah. running like, through they, every one of them has claimed her and posted her no, but I wouldn't call that running but, through but because she's not been married to any of them and men are always going to see that as being run through even if you have have five actual boyfriends I actually they're always thought about this the other day when you actually add up the numbers of who you know that she's been with it's not a mad number amount of people yeah it's not a mad amount of how people how old is she? I think Lori Harvey 26 I think she's enjoying her life mm -hmm. she's having fun let her live her best life and she does it I think she does it quite classily if that's a word classily? classily she keeps it classy that's it she keeps it classy she doesn't open her mouth she doesn't chat no one's name after she keeps it going. She keeps it cute. Mm -hmm. No one has a bad word to say about her. End. What have you got coming up in the pipeline? Um, I have got a property podcast, actually, my brother Stuart. So that will be all about different ways of investing property, how to get on the property ladder. Um, those people that are first-time buyers, any questions that they might have, they Let can me listen to the podcast. You want? Yeah, sure. Thanks. All right, cool. Cool, that's that sorted. Yeah. Um, what else are we doing? We've got series two and three of Worse That's on the Street that we're filming nice, at the moment. That will be coming amazing. out later on this year. I'm still doing stuff on um, Lorraine. I do a lot of stuff on Lorraine now as well. So I've got kind of like entertainment hit on there. Nice. Do a bit of lifestyle stuff. GMB, I'll still cover for Richard if he needs me to. 
Um, I think that's it. Oh, and I've got my green card approved. So at some point, I want to head to the States. Hey. I've been telling Zizi yes. she needs to do that. I'm do just it. Well do, it, do it, do it, do it, do it. That's really well do done. Do it. I'm going to get over there. Who knows what's going to happen, if anything at all, but I'm going to at least try. So I've got a couple of meetings kind of set when I'm ready to go over to meet a couple of agents and managers. Nice. And then we'll see what happens. I just thought, why not? Well, wow. that is shot. beautiful. Make some noise for Scarlett Douglas! Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Thanks for being a pleasure. This has been the Plus 4 4 podcast. Peace. So before we go, be sure to check out all the new releases this week across the Plus 4 4 playlist on Amazon Music. As well as the main Plus 4 4 playlist, we also have the RB playlist, the rap playlist, and the Afro playlist. And make sure you follow us on Instagram at Plus44UK, where you can see snippets of this podcast, exclusive content, and stay up to date with all new music releases. You have been listening to the Plus44 podcast from Wondery with me, Sideman. And me, ZZ Mills. Listen to the Plus44 podcast wherever you get your podcasts or listen early and ad-free on Amazon Music. The Plus44 podcast is produced by So Incredible with Wondery, audio engineered by Nathan Cooper, filmed and edited by Marcus Accent, photography by Naomi Koji Payton. The podcast is filmed at Fiction Studios. The executive producer for So Incredible was Harry Anthony. Richard Knight, Jessica Radburn and Marshall Louis. Thanks to Scarlett Douglas for joining us this week and thanks to you for listening. Listen to the Plus 44 podcast wherever you get your podcasts or listen early and ad-free on Amazon Music.